Porque mi gente en este país no entiende el poder Correct. del crédito. Until you take that leap and you put faith above fear, you're going to be stuck in that place. Yeah. Although my father wasn't there as much as I wanted him to be, yeah. he had a great impact in the man that I am now. Dímelo, mi gente. How you doing today, guys? Welcome to Mi Gente Podcast. I am your host, once again, Mike Perez, your Central Florida realtor. And uh, just super excited. Excited today because uh, I get to uh, introduce one of my, uh, one of my guests, uh, a gentleman who I, who I admire, a gentleman who I've known and met a few years ago via... Um, our boys or our kids uh, basketball league and um, it's just a person who really I, I I felt good energy about when I first met him uh, not only that I noticed that this guy is a God-fearing guy which is super important a great father husband he's also a son of an immigrant immigrant just like myself you know And um, and not only that, he's a New Yorker, you know, New Yorker at heart. But I think he's also just getting acquainted now to to the Orlando life, just like myself. I'm New Yorker at heart, but I love me Orlando, you know. And uh, without you know giving too much information and, and taking away his thunder, you know, I want to introduce uh, the one and only Mr. Gyc uh, Robin, or we call him Rob <clears throat> De Cariño. You know, appreciate it. Yes. But uh, welcome, man. Welcome, no, man, and thank, thank you, you for, for for coming, man. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited, man. This is absolutely, absolutely. This is, is going to be a good one. I, I haven't seen you since last year, so we got It's been some a minute, to man. So about. we got we got a lot for of catching sure. up to for do. Sure, you know? for sure. But um, just wanted to um make this. You know, I've been doing this mostly to to <clears> let people know who who I am, who mi gente is, <clears> and of course, tu eres parte de mi gente. A person who's uh, done a lot for the community mm. and is doing a lot for the community. Mm. And, um, you know, I met you, um, like we were talking about, via basketball, yeah. you know. Yeah. Our kids, uh, we coach. We coach the, our kids in basketball. And, and like I said, I met you. I saw you. Good people. And when I found out what you were doing, and, you know, we all want to do business with people we like. Mm. So, of course, I said, man, I like this guy, I like his style, I like his energy. You know, I got to work with this guy. And you know what? What you do, a lot of people do. Mm. It's everywhere. It's saturated sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then again, not everybody has that essence that you have brought. And not only that, you've successfully helped and currently helping a lot of people that are my clients. Mm. So, you know, that's that's a great thing that that I want to point out and is one of the reasons that I'm bringing <clears throat> you here because you bring so much to the community and it synergistically works with, with what I do with the community as well, you know? Sure. So uh, sure. I just want to chat, yeah, have a drink like we're doing right now, yeah, let's do you it. know, and, uh, and just chat it up, man. You know, I just want to know and, and, and let my mi gente saber First of all, quién es Rob? Mm. Who's Rob? Who I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. But only yeah. from the outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But I really want to know who you are, man. Where you know where you come from, and and give us a little bit uh, of that. Okay, okay. Well, um, you touched on a lot. Okay. I'm not one of those people you can like pinpoint. All oh, this guys like this. Now nah, I'm 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 a little diverse with everything. A but above versatile, everything, yeah. above everything, like you said, I'm a son of God. I'm a man of God. Yes. Right. Um, that is my foundation, and he's blessed me with so much. Yes, sir. Uh, husband to a beautiful wife of 15 years. Yes. Three amazing kids, um, which I want to touch on because uh, the dynamic of my family is a blended family, right? Yes. So that brings a different dynamic. Absolutely. I'm there too, Especially, man. We got a blended family you too. You already so know. So that's something it takes a special yeah. man yes. to- Not everybody can step up no, to that. No, not yeah. at all. Not yeah. at all. And I take pride in that. Yes, sir. I take pride in that. Born and raised in New York, Bronx, New York. Bronx? Bronx. Okay, so cerquita de mí. Yeah. I was at 177 Washington Heights. Oh, you're in the Heights. You were un poquito más arriba, Sí, right? sí, sí. Yo daba Uptown, okay. Broadway. Okay, okay. 225th. I got you. Yeah, okay. On the one train. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight train for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somos vecinos. Uh, he's on the same side, west side. <laughs> yes, That's sir. it, just on west side. Yes, sir. All right. Um, but again, 
first generation born American. My parents are coming from Dominican Republic. Okay. Okay. I relate. Okay. So um, we are the first to do a lot of things Mm -hmm. for the family. But I, I, born and raised in New York gives you a sense of, you know, New York is like a melting pot. It is. So you blend in. Yes. With many different cultures, you don't just stand out unless you're from the Heights, like because in the Heights is <laughs> that's little Dominican right? Republic right <laughs> yeah. there. Um, but I was born on a different side, okay. Where, uh, you know, I believe basketball saved my life many times. Boom. Okay. You understand? Okay. I, I one wasn't of those bo- stories. That one of those stories your where, way out. Yeah. You know, I don't look like where I came from. Uh huh. Um. You know, I came up in in the projects many years, 20, oh, 20 plus years, born and raised in the projects. Okay. Now, it sounds like a bad thing, mm-hmm. but I use that to my advantage. There's a blessing behind that. A hundred percent, because yeah. like I said, coming from immigrant parents, that is paradise compared to where they're coming from. Yeah. The projects was nothing. You can't even complain sometimes. At yeah. all. Yeah. So I didn't know it was a bad thing until I got out. Uh-huh. And you know, fast forward, we 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 made a move. My entire family is in New York, and I was the first to actually make a move out of the state, hmm. and that was a big thing. Okay, because this happened during the pandemic. So what? You were born and raised, born and raised in New York, in New York. Okay, up until up until all my life. Let's. I'm I'm 40 now. Okay, I've been here three years. 37 years of my life in oh, New York. Okay. okay. And when I tell you I've adjusted to this, it was just like I've served my purpose in New York and I was ready for you this. You were done, yeah. Because I know a lot of people that moved here and couldn't handle it had to go back up. Mm-hmm. You asked me four years ago, do you ever see yourself in Florida? No. Pandemic, pandemic changed everything. Yeah. And here we are. So that's that's me in a nutshell, uh-huh. kind of. Like, uh-huh. you know, um, Raised by by mostly my mom. Okay. My father wasn't in the picture as much. All right. Um, he was a politician. Okay. In the Dominican back Republic. In DR, yeah, right. back in DR. Yeah, back in DR. And if you know anything about politicians in DR, el tiempo, el dinero, te consume. Yeah, yeah. for sure, and yeah. it's it's a whole different life. Yeah. But um, I learned more. It's funny. I learned more about him after he passed than when mm-hmm. he was here. Wow, interesting. And why that, you say why you say that though? Because again, <clears throat> I say I learned more after that because I, I didn't know I had brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, the generation before us knew how to keep secrets. Yeah. Well, this there was gen- no technology. There was no technology. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, eh, la familia se junta uh-huh. y hablan. Correct. Pero hay mucho secreto. Que no sale a la luz hasta que tú preguntas. Uh-huh. Las algo preguntas, pasa, algo, algo pasa, dramático, uh-huh. tú estás, you in, you, in the, you in the funeral home. Y de and repente, this, all this comes up. Yeah, yeah. oh, two women, where these, where these, where all these women come from? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? So, mm-hmm. the, that's when the, uh, that's when the questions come. I hate that. The stereotypical <laughs> Dominican, you know, we're good people, you know, but back in the day, they were known to yeah, be a little, yeah. Papa yeah. was a Rolling Stone yeah, type of thing. Yeah, for sure, huh? for sure. Okay, okay. And that just, you know, made me realize how much of an amazing woman my mom was. Oh, you appreciate I didn't appreciate that. it until I had my first child. Mm. You don't appreciate everything they go through to raise you. And I like to say we didn't, you know, even in the environment we were in, we were always good kids. Yeah. You know, I, I was it was from my mom and my dad, it's just a, I was just me and my sister who's mm-hmm. younger than me. Mm-hmm. And from my father's side, it's seven of us. Mm. Mostly in DR um, and other places of the world. Spread out, yeah. Spread out. Um, they all have their own stories. Mm. Mine is different. I use my father's faults as uh, strength for me. Yeah. Because it made me realize what not to do and how not to raise and my kids. What to do, correct. And then what to do. Because at the end of the day, he always, you know, he had he had he had a way with words. Mm-hmm. It's a politician. Of course. There was things that, where even, has to be even, thing. when, even when he was not there all the time, when he was there, uh-huh. I felt his presence. Mm-hmm. He always left me a word that would leave me in tears like, wow. Mm-hmm. But then the absence, um, 
the absence was what really determined a lot of my actions. Mm -hmm. There was times of rebellion. There was times of, you know, running with the wrong crowd of just course. because I was looking for of acceptance. Course. You testing it and, and yeah, you know, yeah, you don't yeah. have that father figure que te da un tate quieto. Exacto. You know, so you end up Exacto. exploring. No, the streets become your father. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. If you let it be. But I was blessed to have a solid family foundation. I'm talking about like my uncles, my aunts. We, they're all from the Bronx. We would get together all the time. And that foundation right there, I would always... It was like accountability for me. Like mm -hmm. I would always think about them whenever I'm tempted to do something. Like, nah, I don't want to disappoint them. What What if they know, or what would they say or think? Right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, even to the little thing, like un uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Especially <laughs> a, back a in the day, yeah, 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 it was a big deal. Fumar con cigarrillo. Like, nah, I won't do none of that uh -huh. because they don't do it. Yeah. Because I I see that there. But again, I had all the ability to do it because my mom mm -hmm. was one of those that worked several jobs. I was home alone most of the time. You could have gotten away with I a lot of stuff. 100%. Yeah. But uh, that family dynamic really saves saves you from And the beautiful thing from making man, a wrong move. With 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 families like that is that close knit family yeah. environment yeah. that no matter what it keeps that core value. You know, and that's something that I love. When I lived in New York, mm. you know, los tíos, primos, they all lived in the same block in the same building. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yep. so every every holiday and yeah. stuff like that, Junto. it would be a group of 50 plus. Junto. So Crammed it was beautiful because it was a lot of yeah. love, a lot of family, yeah. a lot of unity, yeah. you know. No matter what happened or what was going on, it was still very, very tight knit, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it was very, very similar to... to to my times in, in New York as well, yeah. We share yeah. a lot of common, man. We do, man. I know you relate to a lot of things I yes, say. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I think that's why we connected. Yeah. When we first, even on that first pound. I could tell from the first pound. I don't know if it's a New York thing or just the energy thing yeah, or yeah, yeah, something, but yeah, yeah. the moment I met you, I'm like, yeah. I like this guy right yeah, here. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. I like this guy, I like for his sure. energy. So, so yeah, so now we're here. Yeah. We're New Yorkers who our parents made the sacrifice, raised us, I believe, as correct as possible. Mm -hmm. And here we are now grown as men, mm -hmm. you know, trying to do the best we can now and trying to make our people proud. For sure. You know? For sure. So it's a beautiful thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. So besides the, besides being a New Yorker, you are now officially a Floridian. <laughs> Even your phone number changed. You finally got rid of that damn what was 917? That's true. That's true. <laughs> Recently, I'm, I'm local 407 yes, now. Yes, officially. yes. Officially. And now that you're here, what do you do? What's your, what's your thing now, man? I know what your thing is, but yeah. you know, I yeah. want everybody to know. So I moved here back in 2021. Uh -huh. uh, the pandemic definitely influenced this move just because um, New York is not a place to raise kids anymore, I believe. It has changed. Mm -hmm. The opportunity presented itself. Um, my background before the profession I'm in now was uh, HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning uh -huh. up there. So I was working as an engineer in White Plains when the pandemic hit in a commercial building. When the pandemic hit, it shut down the Damn. whole business. Yeah. However, I was still considered a, uh, how do you call well, an still. essential, an essential worker. So you would still be able to I work, yeah. no matter the lockdown, no matter what exactly, was happening during the exactly. pandemic. Exactly. So that that was a test. That was a test yeah. because again, at that time, we didn't know what was happening. Yeah. We were scared to go outside. It was Everybody very was uncertain. Kept, it was still uncertain. very crazy. Yeah. And you know, I was out there every single day, but because there was not much to do, you understand how fast New York moves. You don't get a chance to sit down and think. Correct. And I believe that pandemic was a gift and a curse to many. Yes. It was a gift to me because it allowed me to sit down and really think now. Mm -hmm. Right? Not only think, but get closer to my family, know who my kids are. Yeah. Spend time with my wife. Not superficially, but in reality. No, just in really reality. Connect, yeah, 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 really yeah. connect, man. Because we're in that rat race of life. All day. And we're like, hi, good morning, yeah, bye, hey, yeah. welcome, good night. And, and, and it's just very... 
very over the surface type of relationship sometimes with our families. Hundred yeah. percent. That's yeah. why the divorce rate went through the roof. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's when you really started learning who your spouse is. Like, oh, you don't even cook. Yeah. <laughs> where you been? <laughs> you're not cooking. <laughs> you're not cleaning. Like, what the hell, you know? And <laughs> even as a man too, you know, yeah. like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, you know? for sure. Nah, it's for true. sure. So it, the pandemic tested everybody. It tested. Man. It yeah. tested yeah. everyone. So um, that allowed me to to learn a new skill, mm -hmm. right? And that's when I started really diving into credit, mm -hmm. the importance of credit. Yes. Um, I understood I came from a low credit community, mm -hmm. uh, poverty stricken. There's a verse in the Bible that says, um, our people perish for the lack of knowledge. Yes. And I believe that is the separation from where you want to be to where you are. Absolutely. It's just information. Absolutely. And that time allowed me to, to uh, learn the world of credit and how to utilize that to impact not only myself and my family, but our people. Yeah. Mi gente, de verdad. Porque mi gente en este país no entiende el poder Correct. del crédito. Hasta qué tiempo hasta, de usarlo. Hasta que llega el momento de, de tener que utilizarlo. Ahí sabe. es cuando se dan cuenta lo importante que es. Ya lo Eso sabe. sí es verdad. Ya Eso lo sí sabe. es verdad. Súper importante, mi gente, que es algo que quiero emphasize. El crédito en este país es lo primordial. Es mejor que tener efectivo en el bolsillo. Or tell me I'm wrong. 100%. Man. 100%. Y la cosa es que mucha familia latina, mm. de pronto por miedo al lenguaje, por pena, you know, mm -hmm. nunca tratan de sobresalir en, en ese aspecto. Uh -huh. Hasta que llega un punto en que de pronto quieren comprar un carro sí. o, o rentar un apartamento. Más sí. importante, de pronto comprar una casa. Quieren cumplir ciertos sueños y metas, pero no saben la importancia del crédito. Ya lo saben. ¿Y, no, no? y, y más en este país que utilizan el crédito para todo. Puede uh -huh. ser hasta un trabajo. Ex yeah, yeah. Puede ser el seguro de tu carro. Eso afecta también. Alguien que tiene un crédito bajito tiene una vida, vive una vida cara. Más difícil. Y más difícil. Yeah. Mucha puerta cerrada. Yeah. Pero la diferencia es que mucha de la gente de nosotros no entiende que un mal crédito no es el fin. Uh -huh. Se puede reparar, se puede arreglar. El fin es el no hacer algo. Claro. Ahí está jodido. Exacto. <risa> If you don't do nothing, hay que, hay que tomar acción. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Y yo entendí que había, <coughs> disculpa, eh, a, a, había algún fallo ahí con esa información. Una necesidad. Una necesidad, pero uh -huh. grande. Yeah. Y también, como tú dices, hay mucha gente que lo hace. Uh -huh. Pero es poca la, la gente y las compañías que tú puedes confiar. Correcto. Que van a hacer un buen trabajo. Correcto. Y que tú puedas saber que tu información está protegida. Uh -huh. Porque estamos bregando con información personal. Sí, sí, es algo sensitivo. Claro. You know? Y gracias a Dios, hasta el sol de hoy, hemos podido ayudar más de mil personas, más de mil familias uh -huh. a arreglar su crédito, conseguir carro, casas, eh, crédito. Log eh, lograr metas. Lograr, you know? lograr. Yeah. Y por eso es que me dio la libertad de poder mover mi familia entera de un estado a otro because that's another thing everybody wants to make the move everybody the fear is holding them back yeah fear 100% yeah and then it's until you take that leap and you put faith above fear you're going to be stuck in that place yes no matter if it's t you know if, if it's deteriorating around you you're just scared to know or step into the unknown yes and i took that leap me and my whole family, it's five of us. It's not and easy and to it's do. A, and it's about having the, the guts, the balls <clears throat> to say, you know what, let's, let's do this. And it's very similar to my parents. Yeah. You know, my parents, uh, I'm sure, you know, yeah. at 12, they decided to freaking go to Colombia and just uproot all of us and go to Colombia. Oh. And it's very similar because wow. New York and Florida are, are night and day. Wow. Let me ask you. <laughs> When you got here, when you got here to Orlando, and yeah. this is a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. But when you got here to Orlando, how did you feel about Orlando coming from up north from that city? I, f I felt like it was paradise. 
I feel, I feel like I'm in DR, only in, with American dollars. Yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like. Like to see palm trees, to see the, the, the sun. Our first Christmas here was weird. Bro, even the hood, even, yeah. even the bad neighborhoods here. For sure. I was like, this is beautiful. Yeah. They got palm trees and then they're like, no, no, but don't go over there. Uh, they roll, you know, I'm, I'm like, like but, but it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, everybody got a front yard. Yeah. Some people got a pool. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, man, this, night this, and day, like you said, I'm I'm good in the hood here. Like you, said. you know, that's how beautiful it is. You know, <laughs> for sure, for sure. But yeah, it's 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 a big difference, right? For sure, hundred. And let me ask you, the kids, the wife, because when I left at that age of what 10, 12, you know, those ages, how they feel, man. <clears throat> okay. Was it was it a tough transition? Nah. No? Not at all. Because the only reason it made it, it worked is because they were being homeschooled at mm. the time. So they were home all the time. Okay. They didn't have any real Outside attachments. Outside influence and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so. we were already the transition was okay. easy. The okay. only one that really affected was my oldest daughter. Okay. Because she already had a lot of her friends and she everything was established. established. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she was uh, 16 at the time. She's 18 now. Mm -hmm. But... um. Over time, she realized, like, this was the right move. Okay. And why Florida? Why no other place? Why Florida? Uh, a good friend of mine, a, a childhood friend of mine, uh -huh. was already living in, in the Davenport area. That, okay. And, and okay. he kept telling me, yo, Baja Paca. I'm like, ain't nobody down there. What am I going to do now? Like, Baja got <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right. So I'm, at this time, I had already left my, my secure job. Uh -huh. I left my security. That was another you thing. Already I, took, I, I already yeah. took that sacrifice, so I know what it took, Damn. and started my business. So the wife was on board. My, the, my, uh, my amazing wife supports me in, in all my locura. Yes, Everything. I know. I know. Every she, idea she, I have, she, she has right your there. back. I've seen Inside it, guys. Them. I've seen that. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you know what, man? A great woman behind you mm. will make you feel invincible. Mm -hmm. Will make those decisions of leaving. A lot easier. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong, man. Hundred percent. Right. It makes good men be great. Yeah. Yeah. And that's important. That's that support system. Yes. And I've always had it, and I believe that's why I was able to be a risk taker. Mm -hmm. And the trust and the love that we have, and the way, you know, I support my family no matter what. She mm -hmm. was with it because she knew my heart. She knew my intentions. Yeah. Right. She. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm always trying to progress. Yes. Always looking forward. So. I was, I, I, she had just, it's funny because I was hesitant to tell her that I wanted to make this move because she was established with her own business. Mm. And I was worried of what her answer was going to be. Yeah. And the minute I had mentioned, she didn't even let me finish the sentence. She said, all right, I'll drop everything. I'm, we I'm out. Done. Let's go. Tu te vas, yo me voy también. That's how it was. Because I was like, yo, let me go first to test it out. Okay, no. you go where? No, 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 we going. We going together. Yeah, exactly. O todos <laughs> en la cama, o todos en el piso, but we're yeah. going. That, I love that. Okay. Uh, my son was ready. Uh-huh. Hazel, my daughter, uh, was ready mm -hmm. because she was. She had spent some time in Virginia, so she knew what the life was outside, outside of, of New, New York. York. She knew the, the difference of speed, yes. so she was ready for something to... Different. More of her speak because she's real smooth. She's yeah. real calm. Yeah, she's she just is. like her me. Her demeanor is. Yeah, 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 for sure. So she was ready. Okay. So when that move happened, um, it was like we came to where we were supposed to be. This is where God had a, wanted us to come to. Yeah. That's why we chose Florida. He influ my, my friend influenced it. But when we got here, we felt like this is where we this belong. This is it. Yeah. yeah. The energy was right. Yeah, for sure. Boom. For sure. Boom. And, yeah. and that was a blessing. That was a blessing because, you know. And 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 you're you could be ready, but your family could be a whole different situation. Yeah, and that's and and and, and there's people that are trapped in that. It becomes a challenge, you yeah, because now you're swimming against the current sometimes, yeah. trying to get everybody else on board. But yeah, it made it easy, man. It made it easy. But so it, now you're here, uh, and I'm here, a true Floridian. Yeah, for sure. You still rep Knicks? I never did. <laughs> nah, man. No. Never did. I'm gonna tell. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Now keep I in know. mind. I'll keep in mind. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> you know, 
A hundred percent. I love my Knicks. Mm. As disappointing as they are, <laughs> which right now they're doing fantastic. So they right are. now I'm they definitely. Are. They are. But you know what? Orlando's my home and it's yeah. been my home for over 15 years. So mm-hmm. yeah, of course, I'm a, I'm a Magic yeah. fan as well. Yeah. But if it's Magic and Knicks, I'm wearing that Knicks jersey, you know? Listen, yeah. But who are you? Who? Let's talk basketball because you're a baller too. Yeah, I'm a baller. I'm I know, a baller. I know you ball. Um, I had a promising future. You know, I be, like, again, Coming from where I'm from, uh-huh. most people think Dominicans only play ba- baseball. Baseball, yeah. But I, because I'm in the hood, I had to adjust to the pro- the, the the sport that is What's there. What's going on there? Because yeah. that was the only way that I really connected with all, and I've got lifelong friends that I connected through basketball. Look at that, yeah. I, you can't go in the hood and just shake everybody. Hey, you want to be friends? No, no, no. no. I had to. Like I had to get on the, on the yeah. court. You prove yourself, bro. And I was literally one of me and another friend of mine were the only. Two Dominicans in the neighborhood we went. No way. Predominantly black. Yeah, yeah. So sports was a way for us to uh, blend in mm-hmm. and fit in. Because, mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, Biggie says, you either got a you, 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 you either sell crack or you got a wicked, wicked jump, jump shot. shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, we chose sports, and then basketball was you know, an outlet. Basketball, I believe, is not just because of the sport, but the lifelong lessons that you learn, it does, right? Man, yeah. It really teaches it's more, you it's discipline. It's more than just the sport team itself, or, yeah, yeah, that you can apply in yeah. life. The camaraderie, teamwork. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And so knowing... The <laughs> going back to Knicks. Going back to the Knicks. <laughs> the reason why the Knicks was so hard for me to be a fan of is because I was a, a Yankee fan. Now you are, when you're a Yankee fan, you're used to winning. You're, you get accustomed to the feeling of yes, winning. You spoiled as a Yankee yeah, fan. And yeah, and then yeah. so then to go to the Knicks and it's like, I can't, I can't take this. Give it a win it's too time. much. <laughs> every season, all this money I put in, every every player that goes to the Knicks gets cursed and has a bad season in my eye. Yeah, it was just true. So I was just a player. I, I always had favorite players. Mm-hmm. And let me give you a funny story. So now I'm in Orlando, uh-huh. right? And I, I, like I said, one of my favorite players is LeBron James. Okay. So King James, of course. J- yeah, yeah, yeah. A cousin of mine uh, invited us to Lakers versus Magic game okay. this season. Good game. All Good right. game. I went in my Lakers gear, my Lakers hat, everything, right? Uh-huh. Um, so we go in there and we, we had like floor seats. And then uh-huh. we was in the Skybox. Like an, an amazing experience. I got to see LeBron back, like everything. Yeah. But what happened? That day, I carried these Ray-Ban Facebook glasses, right? That they the ones record. That, yes, they record. Yes, yes. So that day, because I was courtside, I was recording, and I was like, yo, I can't wait to get all these images right here. I'm watching and everything. Yeah, he, yeah. What happens? Excited with everything going on, I took the glasses off, thought I put it in my pocket, and I dropped them. No. Missed everything. No. Right? So I, that game, I didn't realize I dropped them till the end of the game. So that could have been every, anywhere. Mm-hmm. Orlando smacks the Lakers by 20-something points. I'm in the elevator, and I say, okay, I'm going to go to the lost and found. I'm in an elevator with with, with a group of – with my Lakers – I'm telling them, all right, all right. I know, I know what you're going to say because they all told me the same thing. <laughs> and with thing. a Lakers jersey on too, <laughs> it's gone. All the Magic fans was telling me, listen, you in Florida, dog. You ain't going to find it. You ain't going to find it. I'm like, all right, I'll tell you this. If I find it, if somebody turns them in, I'm going to be an Orlando Magic <laughs> yeah. fan right now. I went to the Lost and Found, wasn't there. I'm like, all right. They gave me a card. Yo, call back. Somebody might bring uh-huh, something uh-huh. in. Uh-huh. I called the next day. Nah. And he said, listen, one thing was turned in. This was the only thing turned in. It was a pair of glasses. I was like, no way. Yo, I went over there. Tossed the Lakers hat, went and bought a magic <laughs> hat, got my glasses. Yo, man, you were, bro. Ma- Yo. Hey, but you you picked the right year to be a magic know, fan because they know, balling. I know, They're balling. I know. Yeah, so yeah. then what happens next? After that, I went and bought um, tickets to go see them again with my son. So this is just an experience I want to have with my son of now. Of course, yeah. I went to see them play against Milwaukee Bucks, right? Okay. So... I'm there, Orlando Magic geared out like I've been a ma- like a fan <laughs> all day, all, 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 all life. All, yeah. Exactly. So I'm sitting next to uh, a family, uh, uh, a man, his wife, and his two kids. They're from Milwaukee. Okay. So you know they're Milwaukee fans. I'm Orlando fan. We you know we talking back and forth, cool dudes. Mm-hmm. And the kids were getting restless. Magic was already smacking them because Damon Lillard wasn't playing that game. So he ended up leaving early, right by halftime. Okay. But as he leaves, 
he slips me a raffle ticket. He's like, listen, I got this raffle ticket early, but I'm not going to be here. I got to take a flight to my uh, to yeah. Milwaukee. Just just have it. Uh-huh. And I'm like, all right, I just put it in my pocket. And I start cheering. We win. This was on a Saturday. Next day, Sunday, start emptying out my pockets. I checked the raffle ticket. And I'm like, oh, let me see if this, <laughs> if, if, if anything happens with this. What? Bro, I hit for $2,500. <laughs> no way, dude. $2,500. I'm like... I'm an Orlando Magic fan. I love fan Orlando. For, life. Yeah, for yeah. real, dude. Who has a story like that? Wow. Okay. I have a reason why. Okay. You I see your justification <laughs> for being an you know, Orlando Magic fan. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what's so, up. Nah, man. That, that was that was that was awesome. That's that a was, cool story, yeah, man. That's a cool for story. Sure, that but talking about basketball, man. Yeah. One of the greatest times that I had when I met you mm. was I was actually coaching my boy along with his boy. And a group of kids mm-hmm. for recreational uh, basketball. Mm-hmm. And we had an underdog team. Yeah. Our team was the underdog, no matter what. 100%. But, man, 100%. it felt freaking good Yeah, when we kept on winning and we won. <laughs> we lost a few. Yeah. We made it to the finals. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we win that chip. Take the chip. Man, and this is coming from... Our boys who just started basketball, mm-hmm. never competed before. And as a as a dad, because I remember it was an emotional day for us as dads seeing that experience, mm-hmm. especially because, you know, we, you know, not just New York, but we're just competitive. We, yeah, I, I yeah. see we have a very competitive yeah. spirit, you yeah, know? Yeah. And our kids are more laid back. They're more chill. They're more like, yeah, if it happens, <laughs> it happens, you know? But we kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing yeah. and just motivating them. Yeah. They won that game, and it was a moment, man. man. And that, that was a great, great moment that we had. It was a beautiful thing. Our kids just getting to that point. That was one time that I was like, man, this moment right here is something that is about memories. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and that's, you know, things that the sacrifices that we do of coming to, to certain areas. In this case, you know, you coming to Orlando yeah. with the family, uh-huh. uprooted them pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know, and now having these these beautiful experiences mm-hmm. with the kids, you know, and and the thing that that I always tell a lot of my family members that are still in New York and friends still, you know, mm. they stuck in that life sometimes, and I tell them just just get out, yeah, just look what's out there, and, and trust me, mm-hmm. you might be convinced that there's better out there, and 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 not just better with with, with money, but just better quality of life. Mm. You know, quality is the of quality life. of life that's that's important, man, because as we grow, we're getting older, you know, our, our grades are coming. We realize that it's not just about money, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it's about the quality of life and what we're doing for these families that do the same sacrifices that we do. Yeah. People relocating from other states, mm-hmm. from other countries. Yeah. And. It's a beautiful thing that we position ourselves to to be a blessing and help them achieve a lot of these goals, you know, and very important that I bring you in here because as a realtor, you know, when you're starting a process of somebody trying to reach that goal of, of buying a house mm-hmm. or, you know, getting into a, a property, the first and foremost thing is, where's your credit? Yeah. And some people, ah, I can do it. A lot of people can do your own credit. I could, I could change a transmission. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If I read and I study and I, and I, and I figure yeah, it out, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. YouTube University. Absolutely. I can do it. Yeah. But do I have the time and do I have the sacrifice or do I really, can I really get into it? Not really. It will take me a long time. Mm-hmm. So sometimes with credit, sometimes you need a person who's already know the ropes, mm-hmm. established, know how to make things happen in a quicker time than just your average <clears throat> joke. Kind of, mm-hmm. You know? And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to bring you because I, I want people to know that if you're thinking of buying, know where you're at with your credit and don't be ashamed. Mucha gente le da pena de, de decir dónde están, you know, yeah. de exponer sus finanzas al público, yeah. you know, o a yeah. otra persona, yeah. you know. For sure. Pero don't be that person. You don't have to be because at the end of the day, none of us was was taught credit in school. None of us was taught financial literacy. We are all figuring it out as As we we go. go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Understand? So 
there is no shame in that. It yeah. shouldn't be. The shame is that you can do something about it and you're not doing it. Correct. That's Taking what that's, that action. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about that. There's a lot of people that are willing to help you. There's a lot of, yeah, and yes, you can. To be completely straightforward, mm -hmm. you can fix your own credit mm -hmm. for free. Yeah. You can. But do you really have the time? Do you really know they don't. The, the language they don't. of what to use to get certain results? They don't. And they know that. And and and, and these creditors, these lenders, these uh, credit reporting agencies, they know that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they make you think you can. And, and keep you in that vicious keep, cycle. Yeah. And then you feel helpless. Yes. After yes. the first, you know... Uh, Letter that you get back confirming that it's yours, that's it. You're discouraged because you don't know what to do after that. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you that you as the consumer have so much leverage in this country. You just don't know about it yeah. because they didn't want to well, teach you Well, you don't that. know, you don't know. No, of that's course not. Yeah. Of course not. And I believe that's why I've been so successful in this space because I've been able to develop that trust yeah. in people. And, and giving them confidence to know that you can achieve your goal. There Absolutely. are solutions. Um, there are good people out here that really want to see you win. Absolutely. I'm one of those that I get more excited for the client than they get excited from the results just because yeah. I know the feeling and the doors that it's going to open of, for you. Of taking them there, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So uh, it's definitely a, a, fee, a, a gratifying feeling of, of success that mm – -hmm. You know, I wasn't getting in my previous career. I was yeah. just dealing with equipment, with the my fulfillment hands. fulfillment wasn't yeah. there. No, it was just was a no job. It was a task. No, because you see the impact in, the, in not only just that person, but that person's family. Yeah. Imagine that feeling of, you know, getting that house for the first time. Yeah. Removing that barrier. Yes. To get them to you. Yeah. You understand? So. And as a realtor, you know, it takes a village. Yeah. You can't do it alone. Yeah. You know? So I love partnering and, and, and associating myself with with great sources, you know, when if it comes to lending, if it comes to a credit repair. Mm -hmm. We just finished closing on Johnny Barrios <laughs> in, in December, right? What, New Year's yeah, almost? Yeah, you know? right on New Year's Eve. Man, it was a blessing. Wow. Six months it took. Wow. Six months wow. And, and, and we made it, we made you know? It. So that's why I, I bring you here because... The testimonies are there, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you've done it, you've done a great job, mm -hmm. they trust you, they love you, they keep on referring you, Yeah. so why not continue to For help sure. people via you, yeah. and then the proper steps to take it where they need to take it, you 100%. know, because like I said, without credit guys, sin crédito, no se puede hacer nada, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but besides that, you know, we know you, you do great work with that, but ultimately... As a as a man, as a family man, mm. like, what's your biggest why? I know I know it's always family, but overall, what what's your biggest why of coming here, of doing this business, of like, what's the big picture? Although my father wasn't there as much as I wanted him to be, yeah, he had a great impact in the man that I am now. Right, mm -hmm. um, being a family man is is the biggest blessing that I have yeah. and the gift that I believe, you know, God gave me to be able to raise a family the mm -hmm. right way and uh, motivate other men mm -hmm. to do the same. Um, my biggest why is always going to be my family. Yeah. Always, always. Like, there's no, like, there's nothing else I can put mm -hmm. before them. Mm -hmm. Being present being present. That's another reason why I wanted to become an entrepreneur because I wanted to get gain my time back. Mm -hmm. Time back that I was missing out with my children. Correct. Um, just because I didn't have the presence from my father when Correct. I was there. Yeah, we want to we want to do better than what we had. Yeah, that's always of like course, that, yeah. of course. And you know, Florida provides that family atmosphere that lets the our kids, um, you know. Become the best version of themselves. Mm -hmm. Like be kids and be kids. Enjoy their be kids. Enjoy their stages. Yeah, because yeah. you're gonna be you're gonna be older way longer than you're gonna be younger. So yeah. those young years, you really want to take advantage and, and, yeah. and pour into and, them. Yeah. Gotta pour into them because 
There's things that my parents told me when I was younger that didn't make sense until I got older. Mm -hmm. But when I was younger, it may have seemed like I wasn't paying attention or I wasn't listening. Uh Uh-huh. I was. I just put it in a memory bank that I didn't have to use at the, at the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But as I grow older and I realize the impact that that has on children, mm-hmm. their parents, and the way you know you're raised shapes you who you are yeah. as an adult. Yeah, it does. So I know my mom looks at me now and she smiles with joy. She loves you know the son that she's raised because she knows. And as as a parent, you just want to raise good kids. Of course. That's all. That's yeah. that's you just want the best for them. And I want to lead by example. I don't want to just be the parent that just tells you. Correct. Because kids uh, see better than they hear. Yeah. So you could be doing one thing and saying another. They're going to look at what you're doing. Correct. So I definitely want to be the one to lead by example. And you are, man. You are. You definitely are. I see you all the time. I follow you. Even if we don't meet face to face on a a frequent basis. Yeah. I always see you, man. I always see you, and I admire the the time and the effort you take to spend time with the family, yeah. which is very important, you know, mm-hmm. with the wife, mm-hmm. you know. So it's definitely it's definitely good energy there coming yeah. from, from you, man. When yeah. it comes to that. that, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, man. You you the same way, man. But uh, but as far as like in your life, from <clears throat> everything we've been through, like what has been kind of like the biggest sacrifice that impacted. Your life, the trajectory of your life, what has been that sacrifice that you said, man, this was the thing? Mm. Uh, My daughter, Hazel. Hayes? My daughter, Hazel. Um, Again, I come from a blended family. Yes. And when you say blended? Blended, meaning I had Hazel from, my wife is not Hazel's mom. I had Hazel before I met my wife. Okay. Um. When Hazel was just one years old, mm-hmm. me and her mom uh, were not seeing eye to eye, and she mm-hmm. just uprooted and took her to Virginia mm-hmm. for the next six years. Damn. That sacrifice that I did as a father fighting for his daughter, mm-hmm. taking those trips to VA two weeks, every two weeks, like that's letting her know that her father's still present, present despite yeah. what was going on between yeah. us. Yeah. Um allowed for her love for me to be as strong as if I was still there to a point where situation happened, she had to move in with me. Mm. And I've been raising her since she was seven years old under my wing. That's why I admire you, man, because I I had a daughter. I have a daughter. Yeah. You know, beautiful daughter, Mm. smart. And that was one thing that, yes, nothing worked out with her mother. Mm Mm-hmm. And the turns weren't all that great. And me thinking that I'm hurting the mother by not being there all the time. Mm. I'm, I'm, this, is, this is my immature thinking. Mm. Ah, that's, you know, I got issues with her, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, and, yeah. and I left that alone and ignored it for, for a few years. Then you get older. You're like, what the hell am I doing? trying to hurt mom or get back at her, I'm actually ruining my relationship with my daughter. You know, so that's that's big right there. Cause yeah. I could have done better Yeah. as far as being a, a dad with my daughter mm. at that time. You know, even mm. though we didn't get along, I should have mm. been a little more like present. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. things that I admire yeah. from you <clears throat> when it comes to stuff like that, yeah. you know? Yeah. So pretty much you fought for your daughter. I fought for my daughter. And she's here and in Florida. And you've been with her ever since, Ever right? since, man. And Boom. she's been blossoming tremendously she here has, yeah. after this move. In those early years of her life, she was moving around a lot, you know. Not stable. Five right? different schools, five different years, just like very... But she adapted so well. Yeah. And now this has been the most of stability that she's had. Mm-hmm. And she's blossoming. Yeah. And I believe that me fighting for her when she was little has brought us to this point, mm. right? So that's been that, the biggest, sa- that, that the sacrifice, biggest, yeah. Biggest sacrifice. The fact that she has, you know, my wife has raised her like a mom. She mm. sees what a good man and a good woman, a, 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 a family structure really is. Correct. Having them at my wedding. We all got, I got married in, in the Dominican the Republic, Dominican, right, yeah, Punta yeah, Cana. yeah. yeah. Over 80 family members there, but my kids got to see that. Yeah. 
it was a mo- it's a moment I'll never forget. That that was a pivotal moment in my life right oh. there, realizing like, wow, this is what it feels like. This is what it is. Having your kids look up to you, seeing what it what true love really is. Yes. I ain't married for business or money, mm-hmm. no prenup, none of that. I really love this woman. Yeah. And they see that. Yeah. So now they know. And he's an example. You're being an example of how a woman should be loved. Yeah. How a mother should be treated. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and mm-hmm. that's the beautiful thing of of just being a man. Yeah. It's just being a man and, and raising kids right. For sure. You know, whether they're yours, whether they're not yours. Mm-hmm. It's just being that example and that person there in their lives mm-hmm. to to direct, man. Especially in this generation. Yeah, you know, for sure. Not it's even, crazy right now. You need the man. I tell I tell my wife all the time, like, you know, the man is the most important piece of yeah. the family structure. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you you bear the children, yes, but our presence there yeah. is the most important it's, part. It's crucial, it. especially at certain yeah. ages. You know, yeah, it is it's crucial. It really For is. Sure. So. Don't don't let don't let the system make you believe that being a single mom is is okay because mm-hmm. it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not. It happens. It's unfortunate, but don't let the system think that's important yeah. or that 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 that's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's not. Everybody needs their dads. You gotta fight for your love. Yeah. Some people don't fight no more. It's too. It's it's it, it's too easy. It's yeah. it, the giving up is way too easy. And us, we naturally choose the easy part. Yeah. But when you fight for, you know, what you deserve, what God put together, because ultimately a marriage is a covenant from God. It is. You can't just easily break that. No marriage is perfect, but that that structure is what you, what you want to leave as an example for your children. Mm-hmm. So that's my greatest pride and joy, just being able to beautiful, beautiful. fulfill that, man. I feel sure. that. I feel yeah. that, man. Above all of this. Yes. Above everything. Yes. Above the, the, the success and the career. I'm not. You that can't means be nothing, su- dude. You can't be. Uh, what, what, is, what is it to, to gain the world and lose your soul, man? Man. Yeah. Yeah? It's not so, worth it, man. It's not worth not it. Not at all. And that's why we made that move. Yeah. That's where we made that move, <laughs> and, and we're doing big things here, you know? Yeah. And, and, and you know, like. What would you tell your your twenty year old self, or somebody just starting, man, starting in life? You know, maybe just graduated. You know, we've been around the block a few times. What would you tell like your twenty year old self, or or somebody in a younger generation demographic? Not to be overly preachy, man, but I would love to have gotten closer to God earlier, mm-hmm. because I I believe He's given me a guidance where I can see. Uh, It'll give you a guidance of what your real purpose on this on this mm-hmm. world is, right? Because we're in a day where you can get lost very quickly. Mm-hmm. And my twenty year old self, man, just <laughs> stay away from from the girls, man. Stay stay focused. Right? <laughs> so get get, get locked in. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. You know, don't fall for the for the. It was hard, man. Being tall, green eyes. You know what I mean? It was hard. El claro, el niño es lindo. You know what I mean? So I can imagine twenty years. You know, you were you were. Bro, man, no era fácil, right? No era fácil, no era fácil. <laughs> Pero siempre con buen corazón. Yeah, man. Yeah. Y nah, I mean, listen. I, I love the the man I become, man. So I won't tell my twenty year old self nothing too too crazy. All this just, makes you who you yeah, are. Yeah, right? just stay the man. course, man. Yeah, man. Stay the course. Yeah. That's so it. closer to God. Yeah. Which let me ask you, when did you really have that relationship with him? When I moved out here. Really, man. So is the move here just really changed everything? Everything. everything. I, I'm telling you, it's like <clears throat> New York has like a dark cloud. Over where it where, and the time moves so fast where you can't really the energy focus. Over there, huh? You can't. It's it's right. hard. And I love New York, man. But prior to 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 pandemic, New York was my life. I wouldn't. I couldn't see myself anywhere else. I was saying. I thought New York was the best thing ever. I couldn't yeah. see myself yeah. any. My whole family said, "Why would I want to move to the country? Yeah. Everything outside Sticks. of New York yeah, is the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything moves slow. Yeah. I'm on a different speed." Uh-huh. But man, getting here. Got introduced to, uh, not introduced, but reintroduced to to a long lost cousin of mine I ain't seen in twenty years who happened to be in Orlando. Wow. So when I moved to Orlando, he was ten minutes away. Wow! And he was walking that path. He tr- introduced me to the church I'm in now, and it has completely changed my family's life. I love that. I love and that. I've I've been able to, you know, I I got baptized on my on my 39th birthday with my wife, Beautiful. and it's something we're doing together. Yeah, you know what I mean, so. 
I'm I love excited, it. I love man. it, man. That, that's something yeah. I also want to want to yeah. get closer to God. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, the older you get, the more you realize that that you need God in your life. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's true, and it's never too late. You know what I mean? But I'm pure in heart, man. I got, I got good intentions, but yeah. but getting closer to God and and, yeah. and just giving up to Him and just saying, "Here, take everything." Yeah. And just lead me. Yeah. Nah, that's 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 big. That's man. real. That's yeah. real. It man. really is. That's real. It that's really real. is, man. Yeah. So you know, just just glad to 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 be able to share some moments, mm. dig a little deeper in who you are. Yeah. It's not just a baller from New York. Yeah. You know, there's more depth into that. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? The sacrifices that you do for your family, mm -hmm. same sacrifices I've done, my family has done. A lot of mi gente has done a lot of sacrifices for the ones they love, you know? So those little stories, mm -hmm. those little instances is the essence that I want to take from everybody because mm. your story will impact somebody. Some people might relate with that. Mm -hmm. Some people might relate with different scenarios that we've been through in life. Yeah. And hopefully it helps them out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, we're positioning ourselves to help the community, mm. you know? Impact. You want a house? We got you. Give if you back. can't get the house because of credit, he's got you. I got you. You know, it takes a village <laughs> to get where you want to go, and we're that village. Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. But, man, you know, I, I just want to thank you for coming, you, spending time. Mm. I want to thank everybody for for checking this this episode out, checking my man out, and seeing what he's all about and what we bring to the table. What we bring to this community, guys, is... It's just good intentions. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because you do good, good comes back tenfold. You know? Yep. So, my brother, thank you so much. Yeah. This was it's good. always love. This was always good. love. And yeah. um, anything I can do, man. You appreciate know? Appreciate it. Shameless plug. Please, please, folks. My man, grow your credit. Let them know where, where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, at Grow Your Credit. Or check us up on our website, wegrowyourcredit.com. Um, spelled out, right? We, yeah, spelled out all together. We, uh, but mostly on IG. And we'll uh, plug. We'll plug all of his yeah, information. Yeah, sure. We'll put it there. So people, if you have questions, if you have a comment, you know, if you if you need help, whatever the case may be, just hit us up. Follow, subscribe, you know, share, and. That's what we're here to do. We're here to, to make things happen. Pa mi gente. Pa mi gente. Ya tu sabes. <laughs> Parcero. So, Gracias, right. hermano. Yeah. Yes, Good sir. Job. So, mi gente, thank you so much, guys. Um, next episode is going to be just as good, you know, just as informative. And um, like I said, any questions, guys, let me know. I'm here to help. Así que, mi gente, nos vemos. Chao, chao.